you hosted the Letterman show like four times. Well, man, I think only twice. Twice. But anyway, yeah. the bottom line is ridiculous. What, what was that like? Because, I mean, it, it's one thing to look at it, but then all of a sudden you have to do it. And then you have to hire a, an MD. And you're looking at a guy that is doing your job. You got to tell me what that whole thing The main thing is, it's just I thought my job was hard, but Dave Letterman's job, you know, wow. to carry the whole thing. There's nothing like it. Yeah. Just nothing like it. There's so much pressure. He got so good at it, of course, but he worked very hard on it. Oh, so, geez. yeah, it was just incredibly hard. That's all I know. It was the hardest thing, but just because you have you just every second. Just the knowledge that you are, you know, it's all on you. You are getting cues. You got five minutes. Okay, five minutes with, I think we had the lovely actress who was in the Ray Charles movie. Yeah. Um, oh, her name escapes me now, but she... You know, she got bigger and bigger and directs and everything. And uh, I told her that just like her, I said, Ray, Dave pays me in ones, too. Just because, remember, Ray Charles yeah, yeah. paid in ones so he could count it. Yeah. He was blind. Uh, just that you've got everything on your shoulders. Steve Van Zandt was one of my guests, and we did a number, Love is a Beautiful Thing. Oh, yeah. We did that at the end of the, you know, the two of well, us. Well, what did you? Well, did you play? Did you actually go? Up? I went over. We, you know, the two of us went over to the bandstand and yeah. joined the band. Yeah, and played a number. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That would be like the if I had a show. That's the way it would be. I'd be here on the panel, and I'd go over there and. Play. And you, you would do a similar thing here, right? You get people to go across the hall. I remember and play someone, a little. Yeah, bit. I I remember someone suggesting me do a show. I said, well, I'd want to, you know, I'd want to be involved. I wouldn't want to be just a guy counting off. I'd want to be involved, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe this podcast. We I don't have my drums here, but you know they're in that room. But maybe eventually that's what we're gonna you know we're gonna get to. You know, I just uh, got to appear on the Kelly Clarkson show. Oh, you did that? As you know, she's moved her show to New York. I didn't know that. Yes, she's great man. She's, she's great, incredible interviewer. So yeah, so she's in the old studio where we started Letterman when we were on at twelve thirty. Oh my god! In NBC? Yeah, and they had an idea. You know, I would sit in and in kind the of same room. Her. Yeah, same room. Can't recognize a totally different right. set. Yeah. But they've got an MD, fantastic, and he, you know, talking. You mentioned how I'm talking to the band and stuff. Yeah. Well, now that you know, not only the, are they on ear monitors, but he's got like a little computer. And every cue coming up, he's just saying, you know, okay, such and such cue come out, here's a little taste. And he plays it for oh, you. Oh, wow. On you know, and then so you re That's remember cool. it, yeah. And then he counts it off. So everyone is like that. Here it is again. He plays it oh. two, three times. So we can almost all learn it right, right there. While she's talking, yeah. Wow, oh, that's pretty cool. That makes yeah. sense. But there was one point, you know, he said, here's a little taste. And I hear two, three, and I go and I play right in the middle of. <laughs> The interview. Well, now you know what I felt like when I was playing for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's always mistakes like that. <laughs> oh, some worse than others. Oh my God.